So to get started, we're first going to create a new file inside of our particles directory called media queries.jsx. And inside of this file, we're going to create a constant that we're going to export called breakpoints. And it's going to have an object value with the keys xs. We're going to have sm. We're going to have md, lg, xl, and xxl. And we're going to give all of these a integer value. So 576 is going to be xs. And then 768, 992, 1440, oh wait, 1200, and then finally 1800. So these are going to be the different breakpoints. Um, you can think of these as pixel values. So when we get to XS, that's when we're going to be hitting about um, tablet. And then after about MD or LG, we'll be hitting a desktop. And then XXL is for anything larger than a standard laptop um, or desktop. So like 1920 by 1080 um, will be supporting around there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these values to create some breakpoints. So we're going to export a new constant again. This time it's going to be called size. And we're going to copy the values we had above, but we're going to replace um, each of these with a um, template literal string. So we're going to tap into breakpoints, the values we just defined above, and then say XS and then pixels. So what's happening here is we're saying instead of defining them as integer values, we're creating string values. And we can go ahead and copy these. You could set up a for loop or something smart, but for now this works. So if we referenced um, size.xs, that would reference the size xs, but with a pixel value instead of an integer value. So we can use it in a media query. And then finally, we're going to create a final value called device. And again, that's going to be an object. And we're going to go ahead and copy this, but we're going to replace the values again. This time we're going to be using uh, open bracket min width, and then we're going to be tapping into our sizes. So size.xs, and we would want to do this for each breakpoint. So now we have the breakpoints available as integer values. We have the sizes available as strings, and then we have our media queries available as strings as well attached to device. So with this new file, we can go and refactor one of our favorite components, which is the header and look into the styles. So if we go back to the top, we're going to import our device value. So we'll need to import device from our particles and then media queries. So with this new device object, we're tapping into this device value and we can write some media queries which are attached to this. And it kind of works as a global media query file. If we wanted to update the breakpoints we're um, querying or changing the styles for, we can do so by changing these values and it'll ripple throughout our application. So now we can scroll down and find our first media query, which is for at media min width 992 pixels, which is MD. So we can go ahead and instead replace this with at media and then use a string interpolation and use device.md. And then we can get rid of our old media query. So now we are using a variable or a constant, it's a constant value, but it's variable in the sense of we can update one file and it'll update anywhere we reference device MD. And so we can do so for all the, um, all of the instances of our previous media query. 
And now when we go ahead and visit our application, we still have a working header component. So if we go into the header organism, you can see that it's still responsive. And if we wanted to, we could swap out the value of MD to say 500. And now the responsive values change at 500 instead of 992, which obviously breaks in our case. Or we could set it to something extremely large, like 1500, which means it will stay on the mobile until we get to 1500. So that's just my way of organizing media queries. I find that having this file is a lot more helpful. And it means that if we want to update one value for our media queries, we can do so as opposed to updating every single file where we are referencing that instant of the media query.